we always start with the customer so let's invite the customer okay which may be our sales department or something so glad to meet you sir same here sir yeah so what do you want for the next month according to the current market conditions we want 32 cars per day 32 cars per day yes sir all right of the same variety or different varieties different varieties sir. different varieties all right you will get it thank you very much thank you sir yes now we have to set up 32 cars per day i work in an 8 hour shift which means 4 cars per hour so our production rate is going to be 4 cars per hour 4 cars per hour right now let us see how to set up so this is our conveyor belt the car would be assembled in various steps on this conveyor belt now one question here is ki at what rate do we want to make the assembly 4 cars per hour that means what? That means after 15 minutes, one car has to come out. And, and after 15 minutes, every car, one car has to come inside. Absolutely. So this 15 minutes is now called as the tack, tack time. time. Right? Tack time. The tack time becomes 15 minutes. Alright. Now, the next question we need to ask is, what is the throughput time? That means, what is the time from which one car when it enters the conveyor belt how much time does it take to exit from the conveyor belt as a complete vehicle and this time is we are told two, two hours. hours okay let us see what happens if we have a completely empty factory like this and we start assembling the vehicles right the first vehicle comes in the first vehicle comes into the first station how long will it work 15 minutes right and after 15 minutes it will move ahead okay then comes the next vehicle yeah. how long will it be here 15 minutes yeah and what about the previous car oh that will also be here for 15 minutes right so let's say 15 minutes are up this moves ahead this moves ahead and a new car enters right another 15 minutes are up this moves ahead this goes ahead again this also goes ahead and we have another car coming inside 15 more minutes happen it moves to the next station right in these 15 minutes every station has got to complete the job assigned to them all right 15 more minutes happen it moves ahead right 15 more minutes happen it moves to the next station it is getting assembled every car is getting assembled at that station yeah. another 15 minutes happen it goes to the final station alright so the yellow car that we started with if you can uh, point out to it has now reached the end it is waiting for its last 15 minutes the moment those 15 minutes are over, the car goes out. So let's say those 15 minutes are up. The car goes out of the production line. And as a result, each of the cars moves ahead. Move ahead. Yeah. By one. Right. Now, how long did it take for the yellow car to move from the first station to the last? Two hours. Why two hours? Because that was the throughput time. Right. Perfect. So given the throughput time of two hours, and a tag time of 15 minutes. 15 minutes. How many cars are there in the system? Would you please count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, 8 cars are there in the system, right? If production continues, what will happen? Let's say one more car, one more 15 minutes gets over. So, another car goes out of the system and all the cars move ahead by one operation the result is how many cars are there in the system now? 8, eight cars. cars still 8 cars so always 8 cars now how did we get the 8 cars? can you see any kind of relationship? we have said that the throughput time is 2 hours so can you see any relationship? we can see that the WIP which is the 8 cars 
is actually 2 hours all right multiplied by 4 cars per hour which gave 8 cars 4 cars per hour which is 8 cars Now, that is for you a new challenge. The challenge is, can you reduce the throughput time from 2 hours to 1.5 hours? Oh, yes, we can try. By a close observation at every station and clearly identifying the non-value adding services. Yeah, we can remove the non-value adding activities, thereby reducing the throughput time. Do you mean Muda? Yes, I mean Muda. Okay, so suppose they are successful and the throughput time comes down from 2 hours, it comes down to 1.5 hours. Let us see what impact will it have. What will it do? It will reduce the WIP to 6 cars. Six cars. Can you demonstrate to us how the conveyor will start looking like? Alright, we have shortened the conveyor in a sense. Okay, WIP down. What is the impact on cost? Reduces. Alright. Which cost? Working capital reduces. Right. And your throughput time is down. So you are now in a position to produce faster in case you once again put the two back. 